Hello and welcome to today's reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the current union energy going on for your twin flame and spiritual journey all the way home to the heart of God. So yeah, um, every, every moment is meant to be loved so you can fully tune into this reading and just choose to receive from it and receive your personal guidance. And um, I have the Divine Animals Oracle by Stacy DeMarco, and then I also have one card to tie it together from the Nature's Whispers deck by um, Angela Hartfield un underneath for the um, current union energy. So we're wrapping up the weekend here, so yeah, um, just another Manic Monday coming up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hopefully not manic, but you know the song. Um, so anyways, let's get started with the cards. And I think we'll start with the Divine Feminine today. Go over to this nice green stone. And we have Dolphin Happiness. And uh, someone's, someone's pretty pregnant there as well. So yeah, there's something birthing, you know, in your reality. But it's time to have patience and it's time to just... Be happy with where you're at. Um, you know, like sometimes pregnancy can feel a little bit, um, I don't know, what's coming to mind is just like a little uncomfortable, like, um, but it's not a permanent thing. Like birthing something is just a, a very specific stage and it is something that can bring you a lot of joy and happiness, just knowing what's coming and fully uh surrendering to what's what you know is coming like if you're doing the work for your union you know and fully realizing your full union um then you know that it's coming and if there's something that you haven't done yet that you know you uh could do like invest more deeply into um well into your twin flame union you know through coaching and through Twin Flames Universe products and um, or you know maybe it's just taking the first step of reading the book that I have linked below um, but whatever it is I, this really to me does speak to something about a deeper level of harmonizing no matter where you're at in your Twin Flame journey and um, just feeling into what comes um, here for you you know regarding this card and so what is it time to just choose happiness about and fully accept that it's that it's happening? You know, you are manifesting your desires if you're choosing to move towards them. And so it's safe to like be in this pregnant state and um, to know that, yes, the, the baby is going to be born. Um, and that's really sweet, you know, and then there will be there will be like a new level and there will be. Well, I want to say more life, you know, but I mean, life, there's just love and, and life and truth, but it's, it is about expanding that and expanding that joy. And there is something about that. And there's certainly something about, you know, the metaphor or even the truth. I mean, maybe you're watching this and you are indeed pregnant, you know, for instance. And, um, yeah, there's just something here about like that being really perfect, um, a baby being born yeah it's gonna be it's gonna require um all of you but it's going to bring all the joy you could ever want you know into the world like through this this whole process and through god moving through everything including what is being born and so maybe what is being born for you is um something rather than a baby you know it could be like a deeper level of your life purpose it could be just, um, you know, your union coming together in a new and refreshing way. So you don't always know what the next step is of something being birthed, but you know generally, at very least, um, that, yeah, like if you're choosing it and if you're nurturing some something in your life, if you're loving something, then you're gonna, you're gonna see some, something there, you know, so it's safe to just like 
accept that and not expect something, but to accept that, you know, into your reality and to open yourself to receiving, you know, what it is that you're loving. Because where, yeah, where you bring your love and awareness, you will receive in that place, but uh, you just have to clear blocks to it and allow it to happen how God desires it to happen for you, not like maybe how you think it should happen. Um, and it may be that, you know, how God desires it to happen is exactly what it is you're thinking, but it's about releasing the control around your thought because either way, whether it's going to be something, um, you know, less, or I, I don't know, like different than you expected, or whether it's going to be more like, yep, that's pretty much what I thought. You know, sometimes it's nice. It's nice to know that, like, oh, yeah, I predicted that. But, like, it's not, you can't hold on to your prediction, right? Like, you have to fully surrender there and you have to trust and love and just, like, again, accept what it is that God truly desires to bring you because you might miss it if you're holding on to a certain expectation. So, yes, it's about being happy right where you are and um peaceful yeah and just clear those receiving blocks and the divine masculine's card i can flip it over is wolverine fierceness hello this is a very masculine card um not that you know the divine feminine can't be fierce of course but just you know like stereotypically or maybe there's a better way of putting that but just like you know the energy of it yeah so um to me this is about stepping into your true powers the divine masculine and not being afraid of it like not being afraid of your fierceness and healing through that that that's like something to be feared or something that you could make other people fear you for if you wanted to um you know just as a i guess a comparison like maybe for the divine feminine you might be like have a block that you're going to like manipulate people or you know whatever kind of stereotype it could be something you grew up with from your parents it could be something just from watching tv or whatever it is like some kind of patterning placed upon the divine feminine or the divine masculine in society um but you yeah you can choose your divine power here as the divine masculine and it is perfectly fine to be fierce in the face of ego and be like um yeah hell no 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 thank you you know and you can do that very naturally and easily and so it's funny how sometimes the things that we're afraid of when you step into them it's like oh wait that really <laughs> That just required me to, like, basically do the easiest thing in the world, you know, and just let go of my control. Um, so it's, I think, I feel like it's like that right now. And you could see how the Divine Feminine is really, like, kind of holding space in her, in her, like, kind of happy place, right? Um, and the Divine Masculine's working through something a little more actively here. Um, and yeah, so if it is time also to step up into anything in your reality and to like kind of face it, just know that you have God on your side and that you're not going to like scare anyone with the truth or like by being who you are, by like being a powerful person. Um, and true power comes from love, right? And doesn't come from control or whatever it is. So... If, as long as you are choosing that and you know if something is ever pointed out to you it's a, of course like we all experience this um where we have to humble ourselves and um yeah like then we become more of our divine selves and so you're just becoming more of your divine self here in claiming this powerful part of you back and um yeah that's great it's really cool very much the hero's journey. Um, so this metal card, I feel like this card comes up a lot when I do animal cards for these readings. It's like, statistically, I don't know, I would have to go look, of course, but yeah. Um, so strategy, so it's safe to have a strategy for your, for union, for harmonizing your life. And that strategy is love. You know, the strategy again is simple. And there is um, 
there is a specific teaching, and it's the one that I follow by my spiritual teachers, Jeff and Shalia, and that's what, you know, what works, basically, to harmonize your union, and um, you just do it through loving yourself, through the mirror exercise, and yes, there's more to that, and um, if you really desire to have it all, then you want to commit completely to what it is that has proven itself to work, and that is this work that, you know, that I'm really sharing through each of these readings, too, um, in my own unique way, in my own unique experience with where I'm at. But um, strategy is not about, like, manipulating reality, of course, or anything, but at the same time, like, it is about, mm, like, choosing the best thing, the thing that works, and using that, you know? So, like, the law of attraction, um, but also going deeper with the law of attraction, because I think it, it doesn't work for a lot of people, because you're not really looking at those underlying vibrations all the time, where there's still stuff that... Uh, you can't really fully see because you're numbed out to it and that's why doing the deeper spiritual work is so important so that you can really attract your um, perfect union into your reality and perfect union isn't just mean like sitting around and eating you know imagine your favorite snack whatever it is fill in the blank um, with your twin flame you know by the poolside all the time maybe it does some of the time and maybe Maybe that's your life purpose. You know, it could be that that is your life purpose to just do vlogs while you're sitting by the pool eating. <laughs> but you may have something else that you are designed to do with your twin flame as well. And so it's also safe to just embrace that your that coming into union means bringing your full life into union. You know, it's it's the choices that you make every day. Um, to organize your belongings from a place of love when you are directed to and have the energy. And at the same time to say, no, I'm not going to do this right now because this actually feels really draining. Or to heal the upset there. You know, whatever it is, but you're always having a connection and a communication with love itself, with God, through everything. And so that's how you can always choose to move forward. Because maybe before organizing your clothes, you actually need to cook dinner because you need that energy from that food and you're gonna have actually a good time doing it then or you know whatever it, like however it is but there's it's safe to have um, that underlying strategy of love in everything that you do and you will become more mastered at it every time that you choose it and you choose it consciously and um, of course like when you're just choosing it like in an overarching way just setting that intention every single day or whenever you feel like setting it, you know, maybe more often than that, that's going to help the other choices that you make align with that overarching choice too. And, you know, if you notice something feels off, you have to just have radical compassion for yourself because that's also choosing love. Like, oh yeah, I totally didn't realize that um, doing this didn't feel good until I did it three times, you know, in a row for three days, and I finally realized that there's a better way. Um, and so obviously you have to learn somehow, and sometimes learning comes through trial and error, but it's just about choosing the best, you know, the highest way again, you know, and like, um, you can even say something like, you know, when when I'm shown a better way, like, I choose that. You know, when I'm shown the best way, the way that's in my highest good, I choose that. And sometimes something that is for your highest good one day, you know, like drinking two glasses of orange juice is not maybe going to be the best thing for you to do for, you know, after doing it for a couple days. Like, all right, now it's time to have cranberry juice in the morning instead or you know like you you're living life you're not just like um checking off boxes here then what would be the point so also keep that in mind keep it fresh right and that's a part of your strategy too love is that love is very fresh always um so fresh and so clean that love <laughs> okay be true to your heart 
Number 26 is the last card, and it's a very beautiful card to tie it all together. It's so, like, luxurious looking and, like, posh, you know? It's all gold and those colors. Ugh, I just love that. So, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory and what we were just, you know, speaking to. Be true to your heart. Choose love. Um, you never need to compromise something for what's true to your heart and if you're experiencing that where somehow you're feeling like you do it's just somewhere to go deeper and resolve and it doesn't mean that you can necessarily like change you know do a 180 right away and um sometimes it's a process right like especially things where there's a lot of moving pieces involved but as soon as you choose to be true to your heart, I think you'd be surprised by like how easy it is to just, you know, have that whole birthing, birthing process be one of joy and ease and happiness. So that's really also what this is about. And being true to your heart for the divine masculine and choosing, you know, your personal power and not letting your, your fear or someone else's fear get in the way of how powerful you are. Um, yeah, also, of course, very attractive to your overall union, to attracting more abundance to you, and also, of course, your twin flame, too. And that will do it to kick off this week ahead. So, yeah, enjoy your week. Have a wonderful week. Like and subscribe if you have not yet done so, and check out the links below, too for wonderful resources, um, ways that you can book sessions and readings with me, and uh, even more than that, you know? All kinds of good stuff down there. So yeah, definitely check it out. All right, take care. I will see you again soon. Love you, bye.